Voltar. We've been waiting here for hours. I'm leaving. You will do no such thing, Dr. Frog. At any moment now, one of those snot-nosed neighbor kids will fall for my sinister trick. You glue the penny to the sidewalk. And when one of those brats tries to pick it up, they won't be able to... <laughs> oh, Voltar, you are truly evil. You know, Voltar, foot traffic has been pretty light today. Maybe it's because all the kids are over there playing that video game. A video game in the way of my evil plan? Not for long. Stand aside, children. This game is about to be defeated by the nimble fingers of the great Voltar. When humbled by my high score, you will no longer have any interest in playing. And then perhaps you stroll in that direction. Are you ready for the Brain Dump? Brain Dump? Well, what kind of a blast em up game is that? Oh, it's not that kind of game. It's trivia. You know, for smart people. <laughs> well, no one is more trivial than me. Prepare to be awed by my brilliance. This could get ugly. Question one. What emerges from a cocoon and has pretty wings? Challenger? <laughs> you call that a challenge? <clears throat> the answer is... Bigfoot. Wrong! <laughs> Giant robots. Wrong! A computer. Wrong! Dr. Frog. Wrong! Oh, you're so wrong! Calculating player intelligence. Player is as smart as celery. What? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Don't you want to walk that way? New high score. Calculating player intelligence. Triple Einstein. Woohoo! Yeah. Celery? <laughs> Those kids think I'm not as smart as them? No! Oh, well, they'll see. My plan of revenge is brewing! I've done it! After reverse engineering the brain dump game, I have all the answers to every one of its questions. Great work, Dr. Frog! <clears throat> what language do they speak in Germany? Germs can talk? All you have to do is study the answers, and you'll get the perfect score! <laughs> no one's ever gotten smarter by studying. No, Frog, I have a simpler plan. The League of Super Evil will infiltrate the local elementary school. I will pose as a substitute teacher and teach those bratty know-it-all kids all the wrong answers to the game! <laughs> then we'll see who gets laughed at. <laughs> the teachers are still in the lounge. Frog, Red, start digging the alligator pit. I'll rig up the electrified fence. Those teachers must not leave the lounge. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Coffee oh, cake! Coffee cake! Oh, <laughs> the kids won't miss us for a few minutes. No self-respecting teacher can resist Red's coffee cake. The special ingredient is love. Fine. You three stay here and make sure those teachers stay put. I, meanwhile, will be filling the minds of Miss Johnson's fifth grade class with lies. I am Mr. Voltarski, your substitute teacher. What happened to Miss Johnson? Is she sick? Yes, she is. Sick of the falsehoods and wrong -iness she had to teach you. I will reveal the secrets that the education system has been keeping from you. Like, what is the main language of Germany? Duh. German. Eh, you are so wrong. That is what the system wants you to think. The right answer is Martian. You mean like you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
standing guard, what a waste of my evil scientific mind. It's easy if you stay focused and don't get distracted. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> oh, that stench. It's like a foul-smelling fungus. Time to do something evil. Dodgeball? I've always wanted to learn how to play dodgeball. <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I win? Oh, how I love primordial goo. That's the tuna surprise. Then let's make it really surprising. <laughs> Mr. MCV is busting into his house, yo. <laughs> A groovy teach tells you what's what. You know the trivia from the bottom of your gut. Like what is wood with leaves and roots? Yo, not a tree, it's a space monkey. <laughs> Putting books on your roof, boys. That wasn't cool at all. Miss Johnson is cool. She doesn't give us homework on Fridays. Oh, yeah? Well, Mr. Voltarski is so cool, he won't give you homework ever. Ever? As long as you pay attention to this one simple lesson, and if you don't, homework every day forever. Whoa! <laughs> now, let the unlearning begin. Uh -oh. hey. Hey, how about I teach you kids something I like to do? Who wants to make friendship bracelets? Huh? Would you look at the toy? It's almost lunch! The capital of France is... Paris. Eh, applesauce. Who was the first man on the moon? Eh, trick question. The moon's too small to land on. Um, hold on. This it better be good, frog. <laughs> no! Uh, how about a pop quiz before we break for lunch? That was Miss John! No! No, it wasn't! It was a holographic robot teacher sent here from the future to give you extra homework for the weekend! <laughs> oh, this? Well, this is just a, a special seasoning. <laughs> Behold! The new Blue Plate Special! <laughs> Not me! Oh, sweet corn! That there gravy monster did look pretty darn tasty! Ah, oh, well. Remember to weave the thread through the bead, not around. Hey! What do you think you're doing with my gym class? Uh-oh. What's going on in there? Hurry up! Uh, there'll be extra summer vacation to the first one to hand in their quiz! Yay! Is Paris. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That was the right answer. If that dumb game was on, it would have said so. We learned that one at school today. Everyone knows the capital of France is applesauce. Dum dum. <laughs> don't worry, Voltar. I don't think you're a dummy. Thanks, Red. Ooh, look, a penny. Excuse me. There, the velvet rope. <laughs> we'll be first in line to meet Rock Goslington. <laughs> it's not that I care, of course. I don't see what all the fuss is over some no-talent rock star who only pretends to be evil. <laughs> see what I mean? Totally fake. Um, nice act. But if you want real evil, you're looking at it. <laughs> evil? What? You lot? <laughs> well, who do you think orchestrated the great yogurt souring of last summer? <clears throat> it was us, the League of Super Evil! I've never heard of you. I'm too busy selling gazillions of records. Next pin! Anyone can make a record. Even we did that. Oh, a boy band, eh? Oh, that is evil. <laughs> Big mistake, Cupcake. The League of Super Evil's Department of Muscle is about to mop the floor with you. Red Menace, attack! Guess what? They're having a sale on cake mix, and I found a hamster. Can I keep him? Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that one. Oh, oh, he's about as much man as the Easter Bunny. Maybe I'll do cupcakes instead. <laughs> How dare that fire-breathing black lipstick-wearing pretender destroy a rare work of evil genius! Look! We're down to our last 4,000 copies! At least you got to meet him! Touch him! Oh, I'll never let you wash this helmet again. <laughs> uh, because keeping one's helmet filthy is very evil, yeah, of course. You know what I do whenever I get completely humiliated in front of a large group of people? I eat cupcakes. Fresh baked. Where were you when I needed you, Red Menace? As a loyal minion, you're supposed to have my back! Perhaps this was just the inspiration I needed to plan the ultimate evil plan for revenge I've been planning on. Oh, are you talking about your revenge plan? Operation Revenge Plan, version 2.3? Yes, exactly! The League of Super Evil will infiltrate the Rock Gothlington concert and... Offer him cupcakes as a gesture of friendship? What? No! I'm talking about unleashing a chaos most vile! That's right! We're going to sneak in there and heckle him! Well, that doesn't sound very nice. There's no room for nice in an evil revenge plan! Which means you're going to have to sit this one out, Red. What? What, what do you mean? I'm... I'm grounded? That's right, mister! Until you start acting like a supervillain. I can I can do that. I, I mean, well, um, what if I change my hair? Or, or uh, maybe try an accent. Hello, Governor. I, I'll do anything. Just give me another chance. Hmm, I've got just the thing. <laughs> I call it the bad o -meter. Will it hurt? Oh, not if you're evil. <laughs> it's designed to give you a little... ...reminder if you do anything good. Huh? Oh, but you'll hardly feel a thing. <laughs> and if I do something evil? <laughs> that kind of tickles, like a butterfly kiss. 
It's time to put the menace back into Red Menace! Yay! <laughs> Think evil, speak evil, be evil. I have to prove to Voltar that I'm good at this. Aw, you're a real cutie pie. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll either scare, jostle, or at the very least, insult her. May I walk you across, ma'am? I've got all these parcels. Hope nobody tries to knock them over. Oh, allow me to get that door, sir. <laughs> Let me pick those. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, let me help. <laughs> Must be evil. It must be a menace. Uh oh. What's a mint? Go on. Go on. Write your name in it. He finally did something deliberately evil. Oh, thank you for helping me across the cement, young man. No problem, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> oh, Voltar. The concert is in two hours, and the red's still a do-gooder. We're just not ready. This thing sure wears you out. Look at that. I forgot to wipe my feet. <laughs> you see that, Red? Your transformation is complete. You mean it? <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Feels good to be evil. Whoa! Oh, pardon me. I stay evil. If anyone asks, we'll tell them we're sweat towel boys. <laughs> Never wash that face again. <laughs> because a filthy face is evil, of course. <laughs> For the ultimate humiliation. Red Menace, initiate phase one. Right, phase one. <laughs> Rude ringtone. The deafening ring on that megaphone is sure to annoy. <laughs> Can I take off the battle meter now? It's really starting to bug me. Later, Red. Move on to phase two. Operation Laser Pen. Are you ready to rock? What's going on? Why don't I see an annoying red laser dot? Don't you know those things are dangerous? I brought a regular pen instead. Oh. <laughs> All right, fine. Phase three, Red. Get into position and prepare to heckle. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Coming through. Oh, your lipstick's running. Rip, I can't hear you. Right, I'm trying. So oh, sorry. Get this helmet off me. Sorry about the mess. You ruined my show. 
Mission accomplished, fake Fakelington! Prepare to meet your doom! Eh, pretty sure he's not faking that. Hey, look at that! <laughs> they love it! You sure know how to rip it up, mate? Hey, say, how would you like to join the rest of the tour? We could do this bit every night, eh? Don't worry, I'll be back in a week. Here, here's my pan. Be sure to rise. <laughs> oh, I almost got to touch him. Oh, I'll get my revenge. Some way, someday. Some... Rather chow down with some dinner. Ah! The perimeter assault alarm. Everyone, to the bunker. We don't have a bunker. Nope, just the doorbell. I probably shouldn't have made those two sound so much alike. <laughs> Delivery. Chinese food's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're the guys who don't tip, right? Tip? Huh. The great Vultar never tips! Oh, good, because I ate 15% of your food on the way over. Here, take 100%. We just want these. <laughs> and now, let the secrets of the future be ours. <laughs> You will find something you lost. Hmm. Wow! The motor for our getaway boat! I thought I'd never find that after the waterfall incident. The first person you ask will be forced to do your bidding. Oh, so many powerful people to choose from! World leaders, scientists, talk show hosts! Oh! Hand me a pencil so I can make a list! I am Borg. To do your bidding. <laughs> Banana? Maybe it's one of those where you have to jumble up the letters, like Nababana. Hmm. Nah, that still stinks. Order more food. I need another fortune cookie. <laughs> You will receive a message from above. Hey, it says greetings from outer space. What does yours say, Dr. Frog? A great weight will be lifted off your mind. Banana. Gentlemen, it's time for action. We're going to the restaurant. Yeah! <laughs> Why are you sending me bad fortunes? Hmm? Why don't I get my own satellite or a boat engine? Please, just take a free fortune cookie from the barrel and leave, okay? Oh, I know your game, friend. You probably hide all the good ones at the bottom. Get... Uh, Voltar, that's the super sticky oyster sauce. Okay. <laughs> You will become the king of Elbovia. Whoa! <laughs> I will serve my people well. Stand Whoa. aside. <laughs> this had better be a good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, it says banana. Hey, I don't write them. We buy them from the factory. 
Ooh, factory. <laughs> I am going to write the best fortune ever, insidiously place it inside a cookie, and then, when it's delivered to the lair, I'll finally get the awesome fortune I deserve. Frog, take a letter. You will get a big red fire truck. A chorus line of dancing frogs will serenade you. A statue of a handsome pioneer will appear on your lawn. Well, will all that fit in one cookie? Uh... <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. You will create your own brand of snail-shaped candy. And finally, my antenna will now receive free cable. There. The best fortune ever! <laughs> Raising claws cramped up! Now, remember the foolproof plan. First, we blend in with the huge crowd of tourists. One hour into the guided tour, we sneak away, diabolically plant the fortune, and escape! Good afternoon and welcome to Chimpanski's Authentic Chinese Fortune Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we make the fortune cookies. And that's where the top secret fortunes are written. Thank you, and watch you step on the way out. Was there a foolproof backup plan? Red, there's always a foolish backup plan. Oh, hello. We are a pirate Her. and an inconspicuous older gentleman helping this little Swiss girl find her lost goat. We've looked everywhere. <laughs> Except in there, matey. I lost a goat once. Go ahead. <laughs> This is surprisingly sinister for a fortune cookie factory. Admire it later, Frog. Right now, we need to stop that fortune inside a cookie. Geico. Dare I say, victory? You will fall behind at the office and your work will pile up. Hey, my fortune! Hey. Uh, excuse me, uh, have you found your goat yet? Uh, see, the thing is, I, I think the building is about to collapse. Sometimes it is easy to pass an elephant through the eye of a needle. Um, okay, the future's written by a monkey? I always suspected this. He is so cute. I wish I had a pet with opposable thumbs. Uh, what? If we can befriend this ape, we can control the future. Yeah, well, this machine of his mangled my perfect fortune. All right, listen up, fortune monkey. I, the great Voltar, demand a top-of-the-line primo primate fortune. Chop, chop! See, you have to know how to deal with these college types. <laughs> Banana. Voltar, stop! This little monkey has been tirelessly writing out fortunes day after day so that everyone who eats Chinese food can have a bit of hope at the end of their meal. Maybe he just wanted a little something for himself for a change. You know, is that too much to ask? Hmm. 
Never mind him. Here you go, little fella. My monkey. <laughs> Go on, Dr. Frog. He won't bite. Oh, it's the fortune I'm worried about. Hmm. Oh, you will be singled out for an award. The Dorbell Prize for Claw Science? This is the happiest day of my life! Okay, fine! Here you go! But it better be a good one! Hey. Huh? What's happening? You finally got your fortune! Yes! Victory! Red Menace, what are you doing? Um, I'm just reading, Voltar. Reading? What has gotten into you, Red? Reading is not evil. Oh, but this is the new genius book of world records. Some of the records are amazing. Most destructo rays aimed at a continent. Largest skull-shaped island lair. Oh, oh, longest toss of a sidekick. Skullosis? <laughs> He's in there? 114 times. And that's a record. No, oh, I deserve to be in this record book just as much as any supervillain. Ah! <laughs> I see you found my stink grenade. Let the search for the record that will ensure my place as the greatest and most evil of villains begin. No, that doomsday device looks too heavy. Uh, oh, where would we get all that plutonium? <laughs> An alternate universe is really expensive. Oh, I found it! The most evil and vile record of all! <laughs> okay, things needed for Boltar's record-breaking attempt. Official world records judge. Check. Boltar holding a bucket of water while attached to a giant slingshot. Check. You expect to beat Scholastis' record for extinguishing the most suns using a bucket of water in a slingshot? That would be pure folly. That's why I'm taking sunscreen! Red, let's go! I've got my first sun to extinguish! Here we go! <laughs> Darkness! The great Voltar has extinguished his first of many suns! <laughs> I figured darkness will be way less bright. Okay, attempt number two. Most cities enslaved. Current record holder, Scolossus. The cities of the world don't stand a chance against this. People of Metro Town, I, the Great Voltar, hereby command you to bow to my greatness. I said, bow down! <laughs> See? It's just a matter of time before the rest of the city bows before me! Record number 264. Most Mongolian fighting bulls stuffed down shirts. <laughs> Record number 632. Most candy stolen from a baby. <laughs> Record number 1003. Loudest soup slurping. Oh, no good book full of silly records. 
impossible to break. Oh, thank you. Uh, why won't you be destroyed? Ding, 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 ding. Mm. Voltar, I found the perfect record for you. And it's really easy. All you have to do is crush some flowers while you bounce on a pogo stick for a measly 30 minutes. Pogo stick? 30 minutes? That's all? Well, start etching my name into that record book, Red Menace, because those flowers are as good as bounced on. <laughs> Hey, what's a pogo stick? Ta-da! The self leveling Gyro Pogominator! Ooh, good name! Very catchy! Let me see that! And very comfortable, dear! Ooh, is that electronic foot massaging action, I feel? Of course! Ooh, what's this style do? No! Hey! <laughs> Do not, under any circumstances, touch that dial. The slightest increase in power could cause the self-leveling Gyro Pogominator Mach 1 to overload and... <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. Now, less peeping, more leaping. You know, might work better if we wait till we're outside. New attempt, evil pogo jumping. You must remain on the bouncing apparatus at all times. Each bounce must have a destructive result. Time to beat 30 minutes. Ready, set... Here, Avast, ye flower lovers! Here. Who is that guy? <laughs> and what's a lover? That's the current record holder, Briny Bart the Bouncing Barbary Barnacle. What? How could this maritime misfit hold any kind of evil record? Unless it's for smelling like a sun-dried sea cucumber. Please. Scoff all ye might, but I be here to defend me flower bouncing record. Frog's awesome turbo pogo thingy against a wooden leg? <laughs> well, that ought to be good for a laugh. Yar! What's up, the mission man? <laughs> We're doomed. How can my self leveling gyro pogominator Mach 1 be the guy with a MacDown pogo stick for a leg? Not to worry, Frog. We will do what every supervillain team in existence has done when faced with overwhelming odds. We'll cheat. <laughs> Cheating is not only allowed, it's encouraged. These are evil records. And go! These flowers and ye are both to be crushed, matey. Oh, so you say. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh my! Oh, hi there, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, um, you know when the best time to garden is, right? Later. What? Oh, you? Oh, excuse me. I. Oh, oh boy! I think a cougar just wandered into your house. Oh. <laughs> That's 30 minutes. The record is broken. And since you're both still standing, the first one to drop loses. Arr, you look a little under the weather, lad. Ready to swim ashore, eh? <laughs> oh, why you... Do not touch that dial. Voter, stop! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Aren't I to be crowned the winner yet? Not so fast! It'll take a lot more than jumping out of control for me to lose! <laughs> Congratulations! You are the last man hopping! The new world record is yours! <laughs> Better luck next time, chub. <laughs> Congratulations! Huh? It seems you just broke the record for the most failed attempts at an evil record. <laughs> now don't call us again. Ever. Yes! Not only did I make a new evil world record, I left an undeniable path of destruction in my wake. <laughs> Let this neighborhood once again tremble in my presence! Thanks for the treats, Mrs. Johnson! Oh, yeah. Yep, definitely trembling. <laughs> Can you believe it? Mrs. Johnson was just about to tear out her own flower garden and plant mixed European legumes. <laughs> we did her a big favor. What? I'm nuts. Well, at least you've still got your award. Mm, you're right, Red. I declare victory! Ah! Ah! Scolosis. Number of awards destroyed, 352. That's a record. Ugh.